October 7th, 2021. This is Bill After down here in uh, After's Alley. And uh, man, we have lost one of the... Uh, one of the great ones. You know, I'm always, on these segments, I'm always showing or talking about um, uh, the Cow Championship Office Wrestling gold belt that you see right here that was handcrafted by um, Reggie Parks. And it is with, uh, <sighs> very sad to have to bring you the announcement that Reggie Parks has died at 87 years old. Um, a few minutes ago, I got a call from my dear friend, Reggie's, uh, one of the people who's kept Reggie's memory and business going for all these years, along with Dave Milligan, Rico Mann. Rico is on the phone with me uh, right now. Boy, Rico, we've lost one of the greats. It's the greatest, the greatest ever. Um, best friend, best mentor, absolute king of belts he became ill suddenly and we lost him this morning and it's been all day trying to come to terms with it and release information to the public um and because of your friendship it it seemed only fitting that you should be the one that released the information well thank you very much and i really appreciate this and my history with reggie goes way, way back, back in his AWA days. Uh, we traveled uh, the roads. We traveled in, uh, um, God, in uh, Florida uh, across the entire state. And Reggie knew every, Reggie knew every buffet in Florida. And every night we would stop in a buffet. And he always gave me the pleasure of letting him treat me every time we, uh, uh, we did that. He was a bodybuilder. Uh, early in his career, but uh, one one of the best times I remember with him was he uh, and uh, the family of uh, Ed Schumann um, had taken me to Hawaii with them to uh, Hawaii Championship Wrestling, where uh, Linda Bade, the promoter there, had them do the blessing of the championship belts that they had made. Rico, what were some of the other belts that Reggie was so famous for? He also did some. He also did some of the UFC belts, didn't he? Yeah, probably the the most well known UFC belt, the last version before the current one. Um, he did um, probably most famously would be the the Winged Eagle WWF title, and the Classic Intercontinental titles are his two absolute most famous titles. Um, he also did pretty much every single. NWA title for Jim Crockett Promotions and Georgia Championship Wrestling in the 80s. Um, world class. Pretty much any belt that anyone that grew up in the 80s remembers, Reggie made. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I say this about a, a lot of people, but when I say this about Reggie Parks, it's so coming from such depth of my soul, that he was one of the most wonderful people I had ever met in my entire life. When my kids were little, uh, and we were out uh, west on a trip with our family, uh, he made sure when we went to uh, uh, visit him in Arizona that he took my kids on little motorcycle rides because they had never ridden on a motorcycle. Uh, he bought them candy. He was just, and he made a winged eagle belt for my little son, Brandon, uh, back here, I don't have that with me, but Reggie, uh, Reggie did uh, make this. But tell us about uh, your relationship with uh, Reggie as the person, Reggie, not the guy that made the belts. Oh God, um, he's everything: best friend, a father figure, a mentor. Great sense of humor yes. too. Unbelievable sense of humor, un, un faltering in his giving of himself to anyone and everyone that he met. So, such a warm, friendly guy. When you met Reggie Parks for the first time, it was like he was your best friend. He was so welcoming to everyone. Absolutely, it's like you know the first time I spoke to him on the phone, it was like I had known him my whole life, 
and that's pretty much the impression that he left with everyone. All right. Rico, I want to thank you so much for um, letting me know uh, about this. And if you fans out there have any comments or any stories about uh, the fabulous Reggie Parks, please leave them here on One Wrestling Video, BillAfter.com. And uh, uh, heaven's a better place with Reggie Parks on board right yes, now. Sir. Yeah the champ for uh rico man uh and me bill after uh rest in peace our dear friend reggie parks